But yeah, all right. Peepo, pee pee poo man sees this, duck or Z. What? Evil or a bad person. And I think everyone at their core is like, everyone, maybe not everyone, but most people want to do good. And I think I'm one of those people. Where did you get that idea? God, I love, I love Dr. K, dude. If you can have Dr. K clips forever, I would love it. It's so good. He's truly evil or a bad person. <laughs> and I think everyone at their core is like, everyone, maybe not everyone, but most people want to do good. And I think I'm one of those people. Where did you get that idea? See, I would much rather, uh, well, true, but I'd much rather have live stream fails be a, a, a place where like out of context, funny clips than just like trying seriously for other shit. Does that make sense? Like I love, like this is where I wish live streams was like every day. It's just Dr. K, dumb clips out of context, stupid shit. It doesn't have to be such serious like inputs and bullshit. I, it's like a fun place. And if, I, the thing is, I think people think that live stream fails always happens. Like dude, Twitch is a place where nothing's allowed to happen. Live stream fails don't happen every day. And if they do happen with a three viewer streamer, guess what? No one's watching a three viewer streamer. So it's gonna be a lot harder to find and, and clip that because no one's watching it. When, you know, if bigger streamers obviously are gonna have more pull on live stream fails, especially those that refresh you constantly every single day. Everyone in chat type Alex. Mods ban that guy. All right, Carl B. Carson donating $10,000, dude. Yeah, that's kind of cool. It's kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions for me before we wrap up for the day? Uh, no, I just want to say thank you so much. Like, this has thank been you. a really cool experience. You have a really cool way of delving into people's brains. And I feel really... Damn. And I feel really... Dude, Carson, can you don donate me $10,000? Please... Ten thousand dollars. And I feel really. Jesus Christ! Thank you for helping her. What about thank you for making this all happen? Come on, cough up the ten k. He's not actually here, chat. Shut up. All righty. Oh my God. Oh my God. She's living in his head rent free. What a dumb thing that you just said right there, dude. Okay. Call me Carson and I are best friends. We can all agree with that. But I have talked to Call me Carson a few times. A few times in my life I've called, talked to Call me Carson. And when I first started talking to him, you could see that he genuinely cared about her a lot. And this is before that uh, Slick told him the, the other side with the boyfriend shit. You could see that he actually did care about her a lot and that he actually liked her and wanted to be with her. It was not some bullshit first stream thing like what I do. You know, me and Maya are completely fake and facade. She's dating Hassan. I'm not really dating Maya. It's a complete act for stream and to farm clips. That's been obvious for years now. But Carson actually cared for Katerino. And that's a beautiful thing. And the fact that they cared about each other and, and you know, this shit happened, it sucks. It's a genuinely shitty thing, you know? I, I, I do feel, I feel $10, very- $10,000 donation. I feel very, very bad for him. And you could say he's cucked for donating $10,000, but he's putting $10,000 towards a good program. Oh my God. I see a $10,000 donation. What the fuck? Okay. Hey. So Lorian, open the door. Uh, <laughs> why don't you check the Twitch script? Okay. Really Haven't good. played Mario 64 also, before, but I decided to learn how to speed. Okay, it in I will check. Hours. Okay. So, um, <laughs> call me Carson Pog. Absolutely, man. All right. So, first of all, man, so many different things to say. I just need to process for a second. I'm feeling overwhelmed. All right, I'm waiting. Gross scores take on, oh my God. Dude, this shit's bad, boys. The Greek shit, fucking Christ. 
We got a lot to go gonna through. Keep some Dude, shh. But it's like either A, he doesn't realize what he's doing and he's going through something, or B, he knows exactly what he's doing and he just finds winding like everyone up funny. I like how his daughter's on the phone being like, and it pretty much like, get me the hell out of here, please. Someone help. Either way, Greg, if it is the second option and you do uh, you do find like, ev winding everyone up funny because you like getting everyone triggered, stop because you are legit burning bridges with Explain so many of your fans right key. now. Trust me, I've gone there, I've gained a lot, and I've lost a lot, and now I'm on that side. it took me four years to realize everything. I love Greek, I really do. But man, you can't be going around banning like one person because they're trying to tell you facts, and you can't just go around banning them in solo publishers chat, nymphs chat, trainwrecks chat. You can't do that, bro. That's so not right. That, that's like silencing. You're basically silencing the community. And, uh, you know, Yo, it's like you got. You, it's miss. like you're trying to hide something. Like, don't silence the community. Let them say what they want to say. If they want to spam Resident Sleeper, let them spam Resident Sleeper. They, are, they have a right to that. It's just, it's just pixels, remember? You taught us that. So that's where I'm at right now. I would never do that. So, number one. Um. Like. I don't know, dude. Bro, I think Greg's gone nuts. I told him to play Bugs Life and he banned me. I said to him, but why? I can't believe you. But why? Um, in my personal opinion with the whole Greek thing, I think Greek, the problem is, Greek's very childish. He's a super childish guy. He's, he reminds me a lot of myself. Um, and I think one thing that I've learned over the past year is, and something that Pokemon taught me, is that we're all just eggs. And that's okay. But more importantly, we're eggs with a small shell that can be cracked. And with that cracked shell, you know, when every time it gets cracked, you just get harder and harder and harder. And that sounds really weird that Pokemon taught me that now. But it's the truth. As time goes on, you get more and more able to deal with hate and problems and shit like that. And I think for years, Greek was seen as like this lovable guy that really didn't get a lot of hate and was always loved. And nowadays, Greek's getting a lot of shit. And the thing that you're supposed to do, the real thing you're supposed to do, and the problem that Mitch had, Grosscore, and Greek all had in common, is that they all tried to attack the mob. You don't attack a mob. An angry mob that is anonymous on the internet. You don't attack an angry, anonymous mob on the internet. You it will always end well. You say true, you agree, you try to fix your problems and shit, or you don't talk about it whatsoever. And the problem is, Greek is a very childish behavior right now, and he's trying to go after a mob entirely. You don't do it, because you're going to fuck up. They are going to win. They don't lose. They're a giant mob anonymously on the internet. And... I, I like Greek mentioning that he makes thirty thousand dollars, like all this stuff. He's trying to be like, ha ha, I can't, I'm winning, you can't win, ha ha ha. And it's like, I know what he's trying to do. He wants to feel you like he won. Their sponsors cap. I he wants to feel like he won, but you can't win. Like, you can't win against these guys. And I, I. I the thing is, he's just keep his mouth shut. I love Greek. I love the guy so much, and I want him to do better. Um, and I want him to be happy. Because he, he deserves that, and he has all the right to play Call of Duty. Anyone that shits on Greek for, for playing Call of Duty or for, for doing what he wants on stream, they can go fuck themselves. Any of those people can go fuck themselves. Total pieces of shit, and they, uh, they're assholes. Loving the streams, only started watching you a month ago. Helped a lot throughout these tough times. Take my money, you are one of the few streamers that deserve every single dono. Thank you, ma'am. That's not true, though. Um, but- ah! I'm in the frame, so you can't go on elephant. Okay, we're done talking about anything, pretty much, chat. We're just gonna get right into Mario. Yeah, I just- I can't fuck Like, what, up. Mitch? Are you serious? What, I thought- I thought that was my job. You wanna be on LSF for this? <sighs> Mitch, what was the point of me saying, like, any of that oh, shit? Oh, fuck! I got the wrong cue! I thought- I thought you didn't want that on LSF. My bad, guys. My bad. Say it again. My bad. My bad. So pretty much what you're saying is, Greek is going through the mice. Keith is getting hate phase. Stop stalling and get back to jump king forward. Greek is a huge piece of shit. Dog piece, human piece of being, bullshit, fucking asshole, piece of shit. All right, Mitch, you can come in the room now.
Does Destiny have a hairy ass? Just tell me the truth. Ah, uh, he never lets me get near his ass. And you think this guy's gay? You said he's a bit bi curious. He's not bi curious. Nah, he's. Trying to fix my life. Let me talk about hairy assholes and guys being gay in front of my like three year old daughter. What the fuck? He he likes sucking dick. He doesn't want has. Why? He doesn't Stop want. Stop! I like screaming in front of her. This shit. Second. Go back for <laughs> two seconds. What did you say? He likes what? He likes to suck dick, but he doesn't no, no, want no. his no, dick no, sucked no. by other guys. What? Yo. Yeah, I want to hang out with a chick. You want to hang out with a chick right now? Yep. See you tomorrow. You talk about drama and nice Mitch, the fucking law shows up. Bye, Mitch. Have fun. Wait, what kind of girl? Just a girl. Jesse's girl? What kind of girl? Blonde girl. Blonde? She have big tits? Yeah. All right. Everyone get people claps to Mitch. Bye. Wait, blonde girl with big tits? Did she dye her hair? No. <laughs> no, Veru. <laughs> no. No. No, dude. No, no. no. All right, Mitch. Bye. No, 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 Bye, dude. No, 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 no. Is there anything else that's interesting, chat? I'm talking about Destiny's girl. I am up in station. Where we're coming from. Oh, we have a ton of variety. That's dude. fucking egg pillow pisses me off. Burn it. Fuck you. A variety. How about this Woo! contestant from Sweden, <laughs> who is a variety streamer? So well played, out. React to Endurtil. I was setting you up, Robert. What you mean? I didn't know. I'm playing five. What D you chess. mean? Oh, you playing five D chess? Well, you. well, <laughs> so you you. That means you have to make the introduction here. Um. Well, he. I. I know he already played a. A couple chess matches with Hikaru, but yeah, he's a very well known What's variety wrong with you? streamer. Fucking he's shit. one of the biggest streamers on Twitch as well. It's huge. I mean, he's always over 20,000 viewers. It's actually in what? It's gonna be a really huge honor to have him in Pog Champ, dude. I would love to join the chess meta, but I'm too dumb. That's it. I, I, I am too dumb to join the chess meta. I, I, I know my limits. One important thing that you should know, chat, is your limits on in life. And I am too dumb for chess. I'm sorry, I am. I'm not smart enough for chess. I don't think I have the brain to do it. I don't think I have the brain capacity. I don't think I can do it. I don't. Um, I already talked to XCC and Hassan and seeing if I can join, and they didn't answer me. So I don't really know what that's about. But I just, you know, I just don't think I, I fit in, really, I guess is the word. So I'd, I'm not going to probably play Minecraft. I don't really care for it either. I mean, wait, I'm gonna play Minecraft. Mitch is not going to come back just like Arrow. Don't say that, dude. Please. Please for me! The kind of friend that Greek is. Greek feels like that friend that you have that when you're just hanging out with the two of you, you're total bros and everything's cool. And then as soon as you join with your larger group of friends, Greek gets his jokes by just shitting on you constantly. That is just like me, dude. That is, I am the same way. I am the same way. And then when it goes back to being just the two of you, he's like, bro, what's up? I thought we were cool. And then yeah. as soon as you get back to your big group of friends, he's that guy that's like trying to shit on everybody else. <laughs> and they, like, that's what it feels like Greek is, I guess. Hmm. So I mean, like, in terms of your friends, like, I don't hate Greek, but like, yeah, holy yeah, fuck, yeah, is he annoying yeah, like on any other show or whatever. Or anytime he's talking to anybody else that he feels like is more popular, like he'll shit on you like relentlessly. Like it just, it feels like dumb. I don't know. Yeah, but like, it, it, does Destiny not shit on people all the time and make them feel like shit? Does like Destiny not do that and make jokes constantly as well? He does the same thing. So do I. So does a lot of other streamers. We all do the same thing. It's called, it's, you know, I understand for some streamers it can be a little bit too much, but we all do the same fucking shit. We're all pieces of shit, do, do, douchebag human beings trying to entertain and farm uh, like, uh, like, lol W's, you know? Who cares? We're all fucking pieces of shit. Yes, sometimes Greek goes way over the edge. Sometimes I do too. And I will always admit that. And lately I feel like, I, I personally feel like Greek's back down, you know? I feel like Greek has actually not been as much of a, you know, kind of person that, like, I am or Destiny is as much. I feel like Greek has laid back on a lot of the jokes, and I feel like he has farmed more caps like I'm doing right now. So that's just my opinion. I think Greek honestly has backed down a little bit in terms of his, um... Okay, that was a bad take. Maybe I could try it. Let's try another clip. Maybe I could do better on the takes. That one was really fucking bad. I gotta work on it. Um, definitely gotta work on the shit. If I really want to keep this job, like I really want to keep this job, I do. So let's try to work on another take. Um, Mythkip's message to Keemstar, the doc. Yo. Yo. 
I love that. People park, wow. Yo. It's every time. It's so stupid. Kate Arena opens up about her childhood trauma. Um, because I was sexually abused as a kid, you know? And a lot of shame came from that. Like, I remember, I just, this is stupid. I mean, it's not, but, it, yeah. you know, it's silly, I guess. Um, I have this memory of when I was a kid and I was <laughs> looking at these, like, apples to apples cards and I was like probably like seven or eight or something and when I was sexually abused I was like it was from like four to six it was like for a couple years and um I was looking at this like apples to apples card and it was it said um pure and I remember thinking I looked at it and I was like crying thinking that I'm not pure and I'll never be pure because of what happened to me. And I guess that memory just sticks in my head of like shame, feeling ashamed for something that I didn't ask for, you know? Um, Damn, that's deep. That's bad. That sucks. That sucks. I never had anything like that, I think. Um, I'm going to be real with you. When I was 12 or 11, I don't remember. Um, it's, I'm going to call it sexually assaulted or, or anything like that. But when I was like t 12 or 11, I was at this girl's house and uh, she touched my dick. She touched my dick. Pretty cool, huh? It was Halloween. It's pretty fucking sick, dude. And she was one of the hotter girls in the grade. She touched my dick. Which then I made fun of the girl who owns the house. Anyways, I bought a whole bunch of shungite. That's my story. Put them around the La Casa. So I was 12 and I... This girl touched my dick on a Halloween party. Kappa. Which then at the end of the party... I made fun of the girl's house who it is we were in the basement of, and I called her a watermelon head, and she heard about it, and she started crying and kicked me out. So, that's like, I bit my tongue. So, this girl had a big fucking head chat. I mean, like, picture Summit 1G without the hat. So, she had a big fucking head. I made fun of it. Yo. You know? Yo. Yo, I th that's the kind of person that I was and I'm trying to be get better. It's not like you got to realize. And I think one thing that it, go back to what Destiny was saying about Greek, you got to realize sometimes who the people are and sometimes you can't make fun of them. And what I've learned. Wow, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Sometimes most of the people that you can't make fun of are. <laughs> what about all those couches you sexually assaulted? Okay, there's two couches I sexually assaulted in my entire life, okay? One was uh, my grandma's, and the other one was a nice leather couch at Bob's Furniture Store. And I, I fucked that thing up. It was uh, definitely used afterwards. Definitely in the used. So, those are the two things I fucked in my life. I fucked two couches. My Keith. You can't call black people watermelon heads. Lol W. Nice save, miss. Shut up. First of all, she was white. She was the most white girl you could possibly imagine. All right. Every second in her hand, she had her iPhone and flicking for her Instagram. All right. She was she's white as hell. Peepo pog. Wow. Yo. Yo. Second of all, uh, I called her. I was twelve, dude. I called her a watermelon head because she had a giant fucking head. He banned a whole bunch of people from his chat, and I thought, but why? What are they doing? Why are they doing? How are they doing? Who are they doing? It. Two. Anyways, I bought a whole bunch of Shungite. That's my... Dude, yeah. Greek banning people... It, it goes back to what I said. I love Greek. I love, love, love Greek. 
and I know what he's going through, and it, 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 it can feel shitty, but you gotta just back down. That's how I think. You gotta just back down and just move on with your life. Hey, chat looking for a co-op or internship. I am a statistics major with a four point. Just shut up. You're, you're asking like people without a job for a job. What are you doing? Bye.